Hey everybody, today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour to a number of different churches so that we can be praying for them for today's uh, day of prayer. Uh, where we are now is at the Upper Room Christian Fellowship in West Lafayette. And um, as Jen and I were pulling up here to do some filming, Andy, their pastor, just stepped outside. So we asked him if there was anything in particular that we could be praying for him about or for the church. The expression he used was that, I know God's kingdom is coming, I know his will is going to be done, but I just don't know when. So let's pray for Upper Room Christian Fellowship today. Here I am in front of Abundant Love Outreach Church. And I wanted to introduce you to this church because I've had the privilege of preaching in here a couple of times and being part of a couple of worship gatherings here. And Willie Thompson is one of my favorite guys in town. And so I want to ask you that you would join me in prayer for Abundant Love Outreach Church. Let's be praying for him. Let's be praying for his leaders. Let's be praying for the people who come to this place and call it their church home. Let's pray for God's blessing on them and that God would help them to be everything that he wants them to be and that God would lead them into the next phase of what their ministry as a church should be in this community. I'm coming to you here from Living Truth of Christ Church. Uh, Pastor James Foster has come and he's preached at our church before and so hopefully you've got a little bit of connection with him. Uh, but I wanted to let you know one of the cool stories that I've learned from him about this church. They moved into this building, purchased it from an Orthodox fellowship that moved out into West Lafayette. They purchased this building and like within two years, paid off the mortgage completely. I'm just so impressed with the commitment of their church family. So I want to ask you to be praying for Pastor James Foster, his wife, Tamitra, and the whole congregation of Living Truth of Christ Church. And so the last place we're stopping is here at Innovation Church. Pastor Billy Holden and his wife, Mandy, planted in West Lafayette. And then a church here decided they wanted to just give them their building. And so Innovation Church moved from way out in West Lafayette to way down here on the south side of Lafayette. And to this day, Billy is one of the most cooperative pastors I know. There are like three churches that meet in this building every single week. He's one of the instigators of our Fusion Youth Program and just a, a really good guy all around. So join me in prayer. And let's ask God to be at work here at Innovation. And not just at Innovation, but at all the other churches in this community. You see, Jesus' final prayer before he went to the cross, the night before he went to the cross, he said, Father, make them one. His number one prayer for his followers the night before he went to the cross was that God would unify the followers of Jesus. And so I'm excited to be part of a church community here in town where we are eager and willing to work with each other, but we definitely need God's hand to be at work on us. Because the few churches that I showed you are definitely not all the churches in this town. They're just churches that I know because they're churches that want to work together. But there are a lot of other churches too. And so let's pray that God would bring a unity to this community. As people who are in the churches, and the church leaders decide to focus on Jesus more than anything else. Decide to focus on Jesus more than all the other things that divide us. Let's pray for God's will to be done, for Jesus' prayer to come true, and that God would unify the believers here in our community, even though we might be in different buildings on a Sunday morning. Let's pray for unity in the churches of Lafayette and West Lafayette. 